Hello, my name is Richard Perry. I've written two books entitled The Last Days. One is the Of the Last Days, Listen, I Tell You a Mystery, and the other is The Complete Idiot's Guide to the Last Days. Well, the Bible refers to the last days. A question arises, and we find it in the Gospel of John, about the last day. What is the last day? So we're going to examine that in this presentation. What is the last day? We are in the time of the end. And it would be a good time for us to understand some things about Bible prophecy. Bible prophecy tells everything ahead of time. Bible prophecy is history written in advance. And Bible prophecy is for the benefit of God's people. If you've seen some of my previous video presentations, you're aware that we're at the end part of day six in the biblical timeline. And there's one day left, day seven. We've also entered into the time of the end and the tri great tribulation is just ahead before we reach the end of the age and the day of the Lord. So look at this timeline, we're in day six, we're in the time of the end, headed for the tribulation and the end of the age. In the Gospel of John, Jesus is recorded several times addressing the last day. Here we read in John 6, I have come down from heaven to do the will of him who sent me. My Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life and I will raise him up at the last day. This being raised up at the last day is about the resurrection of the dead and the rapture of the living. What is the last day? Jesus said he's going to raise up his followers on the last day. Well, we're at the end of day six and day seven, the last day, is remaining. It's the Sabbath rest, the seventh day. It's the reign of Christ for a thousand years. It's the day of the Lord. It's the last day. It's the kingdom of God on earth. Jesus said he would raise up his followers on the last day. Well, the day of the Lord and the last day is when Christ returns and the wrath is poured out. But it's after the tribulation, after the time of the Antichrist. So the resurrection and rapture comes on the last day after the tribulation. You might recall Mary, Martha, and their brother Lazarus. When Lazarus died, Jesus had this conversation with Martha. He said, your brother will rise again. Now Martha answered, I know he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. She's showing Jesus that she had been paying attention to his teaching. The resurrection at the last day. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Now listen carefully to this. He says, he who believes will live even though he dies. In other words, if you die, you'll be resurrected on the last day. He also said, whoever lives and believes will never die. So if you, at the resurrection, at the last day, if you're still alive, you'll be raptured, you'll be changed. You'll be resurrected from life to life. He will never die. So Jesus says, at the resurrection, at the last day, if someone believes and dies, he will yet live. He will be resurrected from the dead. But he also said, if somebody lives and believes in him, they will never die. Well, this would be the resurrection, the rapture, the catching up of those who are left alive until the end, until the last day, the day of the Lord. It seems that God always says what he means and means what he says. It's just up to us to put the various words of the Bible together so we understand what he's saying. But he's clear and he wants us to understand what he means. We need to submit ourselves to the Holy Spirit. 
We need to be diligent about our study of the word and we need to believe what it says. When Jesus says, I will raise you up at the last day, that does not mean pre-trip. 